very good evening to you on this beautiful Wednesday evening. It's a little bit windy out there and we've got colder nights now. So <clears throat> it's a perfect time, I guess, to start, say, start staying indoors and do some beautiful beadwork. So what I, I've been just sitting here looking at this cabochon beads. What can we do with it? There is so many different techniques we can use. There's so many different things what we can, we can actually do with them. Um, we could probably put other beads around it. We could surround it with super duos and all sorts of different things. But I do want um, your opinion really, like what would you like to do? I'm going to turn you down on the mat straight away. Good evening, Lucy. Nice to see you here. Michelle is here. Good evening. Um, and I did pop a question right at the top um, as you come in, which is what I would like to know, what colors are you most drawn <laughs> to when you're doing beadwork? Um, I'm definitely purples, blues, aquas, teals, um, navy, sometimes grays. Um, but lately I have been drawn to olive um greens i have been drawn to like a tiny bit of sort of burnt oranges and 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 it's just really interesting like how our taste changes over time as we experiment with more and more colors and i suppose in in, in our life as well as we maybe we are different colors um like well, we glow is different colors so Michelle is saying she seems to be drawn to aqua stills and blues but these aren't even my favorite colors evening kitty and everyone and Lucy's saying hi everyone well I think you all <laughs> know what my color is yeah absolutely we know, we know Lucy you are a pink girl right okay so let me just uh, drop you straight down on the mat and we're going to have a look at these beautiful beads so um the cabochons are, let me just turn this and move this up a little bit. There we go. So the cabochons are like a dome shaped beads and they do have got two holes going through them. So I'm just going to grab a couple of needles and I put one through one hole and another one through another hole. So you can see we got two holes going through them. So my first question to you is going to be what we're going to do with these little beauties. We could try bracelet, we could try necklace, we could try some a, a pattern what we could perhaps adapt for bracelet and necklaces. And um, there is so many different things um, what we can do with them. And um, I have got something in mind, which I'm going to go and grab some beads while you're letting me know. Um, and then um, we can, um, we can begin. Good evening, Maria. Nice to see you here as well. So what I was thinking um, is to try a flat spiral with these two whole beads because we're going to have to do two. So with a flat spiral, you would, and actually before I go on to that, I want to show you, I had a play um, with last week's um, what we were doing and um, I just slightly changed the sizes and I think it's turned out very well so I made a bracelet with these nib bits and I went down in size with the pearls and I still got five sections here um, I added size eight we were trying size 11s in the live but they weren't quite big enough so I had a little play and size eight and the eight millimeters they just worked out the perfect size um, for a bracelet I really do I really do love how this turned out with the waves. I think we could make some interesting um, colorways with this one. If you do hear wrestling, Ro Roxy is just in her, her crate over there. She's she's trying to sleep. <laughs> and probably me talking is like keeping her up. And then we had a little play last week to making like sort of little flowers. Again, <laughs> I had a bit more play with this. And I use size 11s in the middle, but I use size 8 on the outside. So it's kind of like keeping the shape open. And they're like little cup flowers. I can imagine this, like maybe a double row or even a single row or a double row bracelet um, or even a necklace because you can link them. So I could have linked this one, not to this, but kind of like here. So I could have created a V shape and have it in a necklace as well. So this is, again, something which will be worth to to sort of take further and maybe do a kit or something with it. So I'm going to pop this to the side. Good evening, Alison. Alison says blues and greys and everything in between. Um, Barbara say hello. Hope it's not hot there. Um, the weather actually is being cooling down now. So I think maybe 2022 it was today. I didn't even look at the forecast. Definitely when I went outside, I had to put on like a little cardi 
um, because it's a bit windy as well. Good evening, Mina. Michelle is saying that's lovely. Right, okay, so I am thinking flat spiral with these ones. So I think we're going to need size 8 or maybe size 11s in between. Maybe we can get away with size 11. Size 11s will look a little bit more petite. And then we're going to go up on one side and add. Let's line them up. Going to go up on one side and add our little spiral and then come down on the other side. Or maybe we have to come from the bottom so the spiral is still sits the same on the other side and spiral it out but definitely going to do put a seed bead in between as well um i also think that it will be nice to have a crystal in there so maybe a seed bead and a crystal um i'm not sure maybe four millimeter crystal will be the right size so i'm going to go and grab some of those quickly and um i think that's what i would like to try but do let me know any technique <laughs> or anything you would like to do bracelet uh, you know earrings necklace whatever you would like to do these because they have got two holes they're kind of really nice to put into circles as well or we could just have one and maybe put super jewels around it and create like a little flower but there's so many different things again we could do we could spend the whole week just playing with these ones they're they're such a beautiful beat so there's so many different things we could do but let's try the flat spiral because it's a very easy technique and and i never actually tried flat flat spiral with two whole beads so i'm quite excited about it right i'm just going to grab some crystals i am going to grab bitones so because i got to that purple there um let's let's grab the seed bead as well so um i'm gonna want maybe this one this one is a nice sort of oh, I, I do like that color and use it quite a lot or if i want something a bit brighter we could use this or <laughs> giving you all sorts of options and there is this really purple one i like to use as well time to time maybe the really purple one i actually quite like that one with it and um, that will be a nice color so in that case i would like something um, in terms of crystals, something which gonna perhaps stand out a bit. Maybe if you use that purple and the rainbow crystals, I think that will that will look nice. That will look really nice. Do we need six mil or we four mil? Let's try it with four mil and then we see how we go. Right, popping just to them to the back and let's get started. So I think these purple ones, yeah. Do you agree with this one is the best one? I'm just going to grab some needle and thread and let's get started. So with flat spiral, we always start off with two beads and then we spiral kind of around it, always picking up a bead as we go along. Oh, bless her, she's keep turning around and around in there. She's been such a good girl all day. And after this morning, I have given her a cheeky shower. Her first ever shower. And she was so good. <laughs> I think I smell like a wet dog for the rest of the day. But it was worth it. She was really good in there. Very, very good. Right, thread. Where is the end on this thread? There we go, and I'm just going to grab a needle. So when I do flat spiral, like I, I can use that needle just right there. I like these more straighter needles because we're going to be, have to be going through two of the beads at the same time. So it's nice to use a um, nice to use like a nice straight needle for it. So just threading the needle. Let me know what have you been up to this week. What have you been beading? What you've been doing? Good evening, Charlotte. Michelle is saying she likes the purple seed beads. So I'm going to just come up to this cabbage. And I'm always going to have them as I'm picking them up because I don't want to end up one sort of the wrong side. And one side is flat and the other side is domed. So I'm going to pick them up always by the right hole from the bottom going up. I'm gonna add a seed bead in between, so just as a little decoration, and pick up the second one as well. I'm gonna take this down, and what I want to gauge next is how many seed beads and the crystal I need to put around it, because I want the crystal to sit kinda here. So I reckon we need four seed beads. One, 
two, three, four, then the crystal, then another four seed beads. And I'm going to put this through and we're going to see if that's the right amount. And again, I'm going to come from the tail end. I'm going to go through all of those beads. There we go. And pull this through. Yeah, I think that will be a nice sort of nice amount. Now I'm going to pick up one seed bead. I'm going to pick up one more cabochon by the right hole. I'm going to pick up four seed beads. One, two, three, four. And a crystal and another four seed beads. One, two, three, four. And take this down. And then this time I'm going to come through a cabochon seed bead cabochon. I'm going to miss the first one and I'm going to come through the second from the second one all the way to the top and pull this nice and tight. There we go. And then I'm going to go for seed bead, another cabochon. And again, four seed beads, one, two, three, four crystal. Another four seed beads, one, two, three, four. Take these down and then come through the cabbage on before, the seed bead in between and the cabbage on at the top and pull this up nice and tight. So let's have a look. How are we looking? There we go. I think that looks quite pretty. Now with this one, I also think what we can do this would work for a bracelet or a necklace as well. I'm going to do a couple more and then perhaps we just take more thread from the bobbin and do the other side. But I think it would work quite nicely with four necklaces as well because do, we could do one side with three seed beads and the other side with five seed beads. You would have a natural curve to the flat spiral itself. So it would, would, it would work for both. So again, one seed bead and a cabochon and then four seed beads, a crystal, and another four seed beads. And take this down. What do we think? Good evening, Debbie. Nice to see you, Brenda. Good evening. Brenda's saying, not done anything since Saturday as my back has been bad. Oh no. There's nothing worse than a dodgy back. I hate back pain so much. Like, <laughs> when you're like, you can't sit up, you can't lay down, you can't do anything, it hurts. Right, let's add a few more. So we're gonna seed bead, cabochon by the left hole, then four seed beads, one, two, three, four, crystal, and another four seed beads. And I'm just gonna repeat this maybe two more, three times, so we have logo a nice length to it. Lucy Sink, I made the Marilyn bracelet you recently did on live. Yeah, I seen the picture on um I seen this picture of that on Facebook. It looks really good. I did see that you swapped some colours, which I loved. There we go. So I think it's going to stop twisting once we add the other side on it. But I think it's going to it's going to look quite nice. So another seed bead, another cabochon, another four seed beads and bicone and another four seed beads. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to take this down. Alison is saying quite a few of us in a bead club has been occupied with Christmas projects. Some of us have stores booked for the autumn. Oh, good. I I love like Christmas fairs. And last year <laughs> didn't go to any. I, I don't think I've been to any for <laughs> seems like years um, with all the lockdowns and everything else. But um, I do really love a Christmas fair. It's just the atmosphere and, you know, they always have like really nice sort of smells around and with the food and everything else i just really do love it in fact i might look and take lucy this year and we'd go somewhere or christopher as well if he wants to come i do love i do love a christmas fair we went to the um one in budapest um it's gonna be three years ago now and that was really really good right okay so i think i would i would want to do this in tandem when I do this, if I do this as a bracelet, and I think it's going to look really good. So I'm going to take thread 
off from the other side and add a needle to that. So we can start on and see how is it going to look. But I think it's quite simple design, but it's going to look great. So as I'm coming out of the cabochon at the bottom, I'm just going to pick up four white threaded U needle. I was saying going to live this morning. <laughs> My eyesight is getting worse and worse. I really need to go and get it checked um, very soon. And now, have I thre yes, I threaded it. So I'm going to pick up four seed beads, crystal four seed beads. One, two, three, four, crystal. One, two, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going to have to come through the cabbage on first. So we're in position. We're going to need to pick up a seed bead and go through the next cabochon. So we fill up those beads and then we are ready. Then we are add, ready to add our little spiral here. So one, two, three, four, crystal. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna come through the cabochon, seed bead cabochon. That's it. I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. I'm going to pick up one seed bead and go through the next cabochon. So I'm filling the gaps in there as well. Oh, we could add a pearl in between or something else here as well. Instead of the seed beads, we could add that something bigger and just make the loops a little bigger. Did I? What did I do? No, that's right. And now I'm going to pick up four seed beads, a crystal and another four seed beads. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go through the cabochon, the seed, the, the cabochon before, the seed bead. I'm going to have to pick this up. The cabochon, the seed bead, and the cabochon in front of me. And I want to make sure this loop is going to sit on top on the one before. Then I'm going to pick up one seed bead. I think we're going to have to add something else in there. Instead of in between, instead of adding a seed bead, I think we're going to have to add maybe a little pearl or something. We're going to have to try it. And again, I'm picking up one, two, three, four, crystal. Another one, two, three, four. I'm going to come through the cabochon. Let's take this down a little bit. I'm going to come through the cabochon, seed bead, cabochon. David, good evening. You said I got my next project on the deck. Let us know what project is that. We all would like to know what project are you doing next? Oh, Lucy just said it after. Oh, what are you doing next, David? <laughs> Going to have to go on this one doing now. Um, Mr. Singh, if you have missed you in Beat Club, it will be, will be nice to have you back. Although Alison has been keeping us occupied with her design. Alison, Alison, I think I heard all good things about you. I think she's been a little light, light, lightsaver. <laughs> I think I need a sip of my drink. <laughs> and um, it's all on a squash. Lifesaver in there. I cannot thank her enough. And you, Michelle, as well. I know I've been helping out. So as I'm going up, I just need to make sure these ones are on the other side and they stay there. I think this one is going to look good, but we definitely need something. What shall we put in between? What would look better than just a seed bead in between? I, I think it needs a, something a little bit. It is sparkly. I think two crystals of this size will wouldn't be good because they would be too... Eh, Maybe they, they, they sit nicely as well. I try it. I go to the top. And for the next one, I, I just simply pick up. Oh, what did I do? I didn't pay any attention while I was doing it. I didn't go through the right beads. I had it an extra. There we go. I have to take this back. It happens to everybody. Right, come back to there. That's where we need to make the loop. And there we go. I went through one extra. 
Easily done. Spiral stack is with crystals, David's saying. We all love a spiral stack. That's one of my favorite stitches. But then if you ask me, P.O.T., I say that's one of my, all of the stitches, really my favorite stitches. The hardest stitch for me was right angle weave, but once I mastered it, I really, really love it because there is so many different things what you can do with it. Crystal, one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna come through the cabochon, seed bead cabochon. Just holding on so I don't get caught up with the thread. I'm pulling it up. Now I'm going to pick up the seed bead and go to the next one. So I just kind of like jumped ahead of myself a little bit there earlier. Let me just take it back. It's called, I call it reverse stitching. <laughs> I'm not unpicking, I'm reverse stitching. <laughs> one, two, three, four seed bead, a crystal, and another four seed bead. One, two, three, four. I think this will be so nice. We should definitely put something else in the middle. Something I think we need, we need a bit more sparkle. So I'm going to try the crystal in the middle. Let me just get to the end. I'm going to add two more. And then we'll try a couple of them. With, instead of adding the seed bead in there, adding a crystal in there. And then we're going to have to make our loops a little bit bigger, of course, because the crystals are bigger. So instead of four, probably going to have to pick up five seed beads, but that's not a problem. One, two, three, four. Just as a little swatch. If you can't go through all of them at the same time, that's not a problem as well. Just sort of pull through as much as you can, can and then go through, always go through a cabochon seed bead cabochon. And then I'm going to pick up this final seed bead and go through here and add the final loop on there. Pull that up nice and tight. I think it's looking really nice, but it needs something in between the cabochons. It needs something different. So I'm going to try the crystals. I'm just going to add the last loop. One, two, three, four crystal. One, two, three, four. And jumping back, coming through those beads. Can we sing Russian Spiral is my nightmare? I love Russian Spiral. There's so many different things you could do. So let's try the crystal in between. So like we see with the seed beads, it kind of just blend in with the other seed beads. And I, and I think we need to add something different there. So it's kind of like stands out. So I'm going to pick up a crystal. And I'm going to pick up the cabochon. I'm just going to take this down and just have a look. I think they just about be able to sit next to each other. But now, instead of picking up four seed beads, I'm going to pick up five because we added length there, a crystal, and another five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to come through the cabochon, crystal, cabochon. I'm going to add one more and then switch straight to the other side so we can see. Mm, the crystal is going to end up sitting like in a row next to each other. So we might have to alter. I might have to alter the seed beads. So I'm going to pick up five. One, two, three, four, five. Then the crystal. Then one, two, three, four, five seed beads again. And I'm going to come through and I'm just going to do the other side quickly as well for a couple of for these two stitches, so we see how does it gonna look like. I already think that the crystal is gonna end up kind of in the row next to each other. So it might be too much, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kind of like offset it a little bit. I think maybe I have have to we have to we have to put our heads together and have a little thing. So instead of a seed bead, I'm gonna pick up a crystal and go through the next cabochon there. What about a micro crystal? Yeah, that could go, that could be good as well. One, two, three, four, five seed beads, a crystal. One, two, three, four, five. 
I just I think it needs something a bit more sus sus a bit more <laughs> I can't talk tonight a bit bigger than a micro crystal because it's kind of like gonna get lost in it so going through the cabbage on before and then I need to come through this crystal and the cabbage on and I'm gonna pick up another crystal and get to the top and repeat that loop I'm not so keen on this I have to admit I don't think that looks nice I think you need something else in the middle apart from the crystal one two three four five and the crystal one two three four five and I'm gonna come through the cabbage on and then I got caught with that thread the crystal and the cabbage on here so the watch we try we could try a pearl we could try a different shape crystal but I think you need something else or a size 8 seed beads perhaps um, but I, I would like to use something nicer than a size 8 seed beads what we're gonna use in between I agree the the bike on between is too much yeah it just doesn't unless if we add maybe six or seven seed beads on one side so you got five and five so what we could do we could have seven seed beads the crystal and then three seed beads so this crystal here would be sitting here so it would be like a half curve Let's try that because I think that might just fix it. So I'm going to go ahead, change to the other side again. So I'm going to pick up a crystal. Just need a few more crystals off the strand here. And, pick, and so we will be off center. Crystal, then another cabbage on. I'm going to take this down. So instead of picking up five and then crystal five, I'm going to pick up seven. One, two, three, four, five five six seven then I'm gonna pick up a crystal and then pick up three one two three so when I this time when I come through this the crystal on the side will be sitting further down from the crystal in the middle there we go and I'm just gonna complete the other side as well and just see how does that gonna look like so picking up a crystal Going through the cabochon there. Then I'm going to pick up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a crystal and one, two, three seed beads. And then come through this side and just see how is that going to look like. I do think the crystal is a bit too big. But let's just try how is it going to look like. I need to come through that cabbage on as well. And where is the hole on you? There we go. So let's just put this down. So now they will be sitting kind of further down. So if I add one more unit, then we will see it properly where the things are going to sit. So picking up a crystal. This, this would make a great bracelet or necklace. I just love your creativity. Oh, thank you. I think like for me, and I always say this, like beading is for me, it's like when my son sits down and plays with Lego, like, you know, you just, you just change a little bit, you just like add and take away and use a different size or different shape and it's just so great to, to play with sort of the all, all the different beads we have. So I'm going to come through the cabochon, crystal and the cabochon. Oh, Kim is saying, I put the Everbloom Cambridge on the notice step today. I will try it again a day when I'm not so tired. Oh, bless you. So the key in that one, that the when you, when you do the first, when you pick up the first 55 beads, do really like sort of pull it tight and knot it. Because if you don't knot it, then it will slip off from it. So you, you kind of like need to knot it right there. And when you're pulling on the cabbage, when you're going around, it sort of pull, pull alongside the cabbage and not sort of against it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and a crystal and another three. One, two, three. And I'm going to let this go down. And cabbage on, crystal, cabbage on. I'm going to pull this up, so let's have a look. I mean, yeah. I think that looks better when they're sitting that way. So if you just put my finger on there. I, I think that that looks better, but it still doesn't sit as nice as as these guys down here. So I think we need something different, something different there in between. Um, we could use a two millimeter pearl, three millimeter pearl. We could use a round crystal. Um, but if I add anything bigger than the size 11 seed bead it's going to kind of like pull it apart a bit and this one then we do need five seed beads 100 percent um so and the five seed beads might be just a little bit too open because i think what what's nice about here that it's really nice and tight so perhaps we will have to use the micro crystals after all and um and have something a little sparkly maybe change the color yeah that sometimes that works as well maybe you just need to change the color because the color doesn't work together at all but I, I think like for me I always look for the shape first and see what happens with the shape I would just like this but maybe if I did a few more it would kind of like pull together and stand up and then it doesn't look so bad but for me it's still a little bit gappy like down here, we got a really nice pattern. So yeah, my crystals, I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to try something else. And, um, but definitely, I think it's worth to try it with the micro crystals in between. That's just changing that seed bit to micro crystals. So they, we don't really kind of need to try it out um, in that terms. But um, I think it would look good. We need something else in between. But I definitely love the look. But you just need something different in between. So it stands out. Because we've got the two holes on there going on. So we really need it to stand out. Um, so yeah. Okay. So. Um, yeah. Tiny contrasting pearl. That that would that would look really good as well. I think. So we have, have a play with this tomorrow. <laughs> Is it, yes, Joe. It's a flat spiral. Um, try and get rid of two hole beads. But um, I think... We need to add something in between, something different, so it will look good. So, what shall we do next? Now, with this one, before I actually move on, just want to let you know, so if, if I added smaller loops on one side, maybe just one seed bit less or, or either side, and one seed bit more on the bottom, with making larger loops, then it will naturally turn into a curved shape. So you can make this into a necklace as well. And I think it would look, it would sit really nice because you've got a nice flat back, but would sit nicely against your skin. So it wouldn't flip flop about. Right, what shall we try next? I'm going to pop this to the side. I'm just actually, no, I'm not going to cut the thread. I'm just going to take the needles off. I'm going to pop this to the side and let's try something different. So um, we could have, we could add um super jewels around the cabochon making little units so it looks like a little flower i think that would look really good as well um we could put them in a round shape even if we did five or six i kind of like to do six so we could put them in a round shape and then add I'm going to grab some super jewels because I kind of got super jewels on my mind. So, and there's such an essential little bit. So if you had, sort of, we just sewn them around in a circle like that. And then we went into the second hole, added super jewels in there. And then we see what else we can fit around. It could be making a little, nice little cute earring. Um, if we had five, we could have five. Five or six. Like, let me just grab super duos and we're gonna try to bend around this thing, play them tomorrow. Absolutely. So, I'm just gonna grab any sort of purpley color which will go with it. I think that will go with it. Or, have we got anything a bit more sort of purpley shade? That one's better because that one has a bit of a plum shade in it. 
Oh, Roxy just looking at me there like, what are you still doing? <laughs> what are you still doing there, woman? She's such a, she's so good. She's such a good dog. I'm so, so glad I got her. She had her vaccine yesterday. So hopefully she will be, she, she hasn't been too big. She's been a bit more sleepy today. But um, other than that, she's been all right with it. Bless her. Right. Threading needle again. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to do six. Let's do six. So to, to kind of put them in a little flower, I'm going to pick up them always by the left hole. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, if I, st I picked up the first one by the left hole, so I'm going to pick up every single one of them by the left hole because I want them to sit the same way. And I'm going to come through all of them one more time. And I'm actually probably going to knot my tail end and my working end together so I have a nice, strong base. There we go. Just pulling that through. Yep, yeah, I did them in the right order. So all of them, the domes are all facing up. Pulling this nice and tight. Your dog is beautiful. The red will come through when she gets older. Yeah, the, the breeder did say that she's going to get a little bit darker. So the dad was a chocolate brown um, poodle. So she might even go a little bit more darker than that. And the mom was a beautiful red um, golden retriever. All right, so I'm just going to come through one. So I'm not going out of that knot. And I'm going to turn around by coming through that hole. And how many super juice can we fit in? I'm going to go do two and see how those two look. We might need three, but I think two might just sit nicely there we go i'm going to pick up another two and go through the next one i'm going to pick up another two and go through the next one i'm going to pick up another two and all the way around one two oh we could do like a snowflake with this in the middle i think that would look really good even decoration or setting to resin for a coaster or as a pendant. I think for an earring it will be a little bit too big. It's definitely a pendant size already. So I'm just going into the last one. And there we go. And let's just I'm just gonna pop it down on the mat and have a look. Have I got the room to add one of those in there? One of those in there. I think it will be a bit tight. The holes kind of don't line up because the hole on the super Jew is here and the hole on that is there. Perhaps if we edit it in there, but then do I really want them in one line? Probably not because then it's going to look well, if we added more super Jews in there, maybe it will look okay. So I'm going to come through the first super duo. Let's just have a look. I'm just going to come through this super duo here. And I'm going to turn around in this super duo. Maybe we need a seed bead on it. I'm just going to pick this up and go through the next super duo just to see how does it sit. I think that doesn't sit too bad. And then I could pick up. I think my gap is pretty much the same size. Would another two do? Just like that. No, I, I kind of don't like that in there. Could I put a crystal in between the jewels? Yeah, and it needs something else. Um, I don't like this here. So I think, let's just take this back. I'm going to reverse stitch very quick. <laughs> reverse stitching. Come through. There we go. Taking those off. Taking this off and the cabbage on. So I don't like the cabbage on there. So we need to put something 
different wherever if I put because it's a bigger gap one two three super jurors there and pull it through what that's going to look like if I put three super jurors so one of them is going to come through from they're not really sitting nicely together although if we add more bits in later on they probably will be more rounded Oh, we could just have little sort of crystals or seed beads on the outer edge but again I don't think like for me for my eye it doesn't really doesn't it's just like something so, something is they they don't sit like but I'm gonna add one more at section and see because sometimes you just need to add a bit more so I'm gonna pick up two go through the next pull this up nice and tight where are you? Why are you? Why are you getting? Why are you doing that? There we go. Pull on that, and then pull through. Why are you not pulling through? Oh, we got a little loop on there. That's why. We got a little knot ourselves. Let's pull this out. There we go. Are we good? Yes. We are good. So two super duos. And then I'm going to pick up three. One, two. Again, I think I'm already like feeling that it's a little bit puckering. So it's kind of like not the right number because can you see again, that middle one just stands up. However, it might be the case that we do separate lines. So it might be a happy accident actually. So let's let's just go around. I got an idea. So I'm gonna pick up two, and then I'm gonna pick up three. One, two, three. Oops, and just ping them across the room. One, two, three. And I'm gonna make sure the middle one stands up again. Because what we can do then have a secondary line. So I don't want that one, I want the middle one stand to the front on the top of it this is gonna look good <laughs> this is gonna look good sometimes happy accidents happen just like that and um you're not sure but you're just experimenting so any anything goes when you experiment another three one two three and going through this Michelle is asking, when can I take her out for a walk? So not until the next couple of weeks. Um, she still she still has to stay indoors. She can um, mix with other dogs who already been vaccinated. So I just wanted her to sort of get a little bit better today, get over her vaccine. And um, tomorrow, or maybe the day after, we'll, um, one of my friends, we will introduce her to Teddy. Which is like, I, I think I have put picture up from Teddy. You've seen Teddy before. That's the um, cockapoo sometimes I look after. And he's such a lovely dog as well. So I think there we go. And I really hope they will be best friends. And then we got dogs next door as well. So I just really want to kind of start to socialize her a little bit. With other dogs as well. I think it's so important. Right, okay. So I'm almost all the way around. I want to make sure this middle one stands up. Adding the final two and then going through and I'm going to cut, go through until I get through the middle one. There we go. So we're going to have two layers to this because we got these beads to anchor on and I think, I do think we're going to need a seed bead in between. I'm thinking we're going to need a seed bead in between but I think it's going to look good so is it one seed bead I'm going to need or I'm going to need two let me just turn around so as I'm coming out of that middle one I'm going to turn around one more time and, I, and I'm not I'm not worried about the back ones we deal with them just in a sec so I'm going to pick up I'm going to pick up two seed beads I'm going to pick up the cabochon, which oh, actually is a little bit different color. That's a different color. So I'm going to pick up the cabochon and another two seed beads, and I'm going to come through the next one. So it kind of like going to give us a, a second layer on top. 
I'm going to make sure this one is going to sit on the front. How does that look like? Maybe the two seat bits is too much. Well, maybe not. Let's, let's go around. Another two seat beads, another cabochon, and another two seat beads. One, two, and I'm going to come through the next one, which is standing up. There we go. And pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm going to move on. I'm going to need more cabochons. Again, two seed beads, the capuchon, she's chewing because she's got this little dinosaur toy, like a um, dog toy. Somehow, <laughs> she hasn't found the squeaky part in that one yet. <laughs> she hasn't worked that one out. Oh, is this the right one? Yes, that's the right one. Then one, two, cabuchon, one, two, coming through the next one. And then one, two, cabochon. Bless her, she's just playing. Another two seed beads. That's the middle one. And then again, I'm going to go through one, two seed beads, final cabochon, another two seed beads, and come through this. I just want to come through. Actually, I can come through the first section because I need to turn around and I want to go back down to the bottom because I want to see what we can do. I like that it's like become like three dimensional, but we're going to have to kind of like sew together the front and the back somehow. So I'm going to go through the next super duo. I'm going to turn back around in this super duo and go down to my bottom row. I'm just going to go through a couple. So then I can turn direction, but I'm just going to turn this around and see. So what we can put in between those super jewels. If I want this as a pendant, I don't really want this. I need much bigger than that. But we kind of going to need something to anchor these down. So we will need another row of super jewels, I think. So I'm going to turn around this. And if I want to do little arms, I want to carry around and do little arms here, sort of. So we got, we could put two, one, two, one, two, I think, in terms of super duos, uh, that, the amount of spaces we have. So I'm going to pick up two, go through the next one, and I think I can only pick up one. Then I can pick up two, one, two, go through the next one. Then I only got space for one again. I'm just not skipping any. I think that kind of gonna work. That's how she's really she's really working on the dinosaur. Picking up two. And then one, then back to two, then one, then back to two, all the way around. Barbara saying, love this. This is, <laughs> this is like just. So I don't, I don't know what is it going to be, but these are the best. I love these are the best projects ever. When you just sit down and you just start working, and you don't even know if it's gonna be a pendant, it's gonna be a bracelet, it's gonna be a necklace, is it gonna be a decoration for your home? But you just kind of sitting there and fitting the beads together. I just really love how things come together. And actually, if I go all the way, I should. Oh yeah, that will look good. And then. We're going to anchor this with seed beads, I think, to, to one of the, one of them there and just go around with seed beads. But we could, add, we could add other beads on there. It doesn't just have to be super duos or doesn't just have to be a particular bead. 
it's puckering a little bit, so we'll have to work on the tension. Maybe we'll pull it together in the next row. You never kind of know. So one, two, I'm almost all the way around. I love this. I just love playing, sitting down and playing with beads. I just love it. Oh, bless her. She's really having a go at that little pink dinosaur now. He's pink, Lucy. The dinosaur is pink. <laughs> I think she, she likes to chew so much. She's going to, it's not the dog food I'm going to have to look out for. It's not the, not the dog food, which is going, what's going to be expensive. It's the toys. <laughs> but she's she's like, I got a bed for her. Like, I got this big pillow. And she only had it, <laughs> like, two days and chewed the corner of it already. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sew it up. But um, I reckon it's going to be the toys and the pillows. But what's like, she, the, she hasn't really, she doesn't really chewing anything else, though. Like, she doesn't. She's been discouraged going for, for shoes. Like every single time when she goes for a shoe, I just take away from her. And um, she's not really like trying to chew anything, but she really chews her bed and her toys because I think she knows that's hers and she can. Bless her. He's puckering a little bit. So we will see once we finish with this one. I got one more to add. But how is it going to look like? Once they are pulled, so I'm just gonna go through go that one. So I'm going into the last one and the one, the very first first one I added, and that's turning around. So it's puckering a little bit. So you're gonna have to. Some of them just naturally want to stand up. This way they want to turn. So if I turn that one, I want to turn. If I turn the middle one, then we're gonna have two turned next to each other. But I think we need some crystals or something in between so we can have a nice pattern still let's have a look so there is the twos there is the two so if i pull the twos up i can't because then that's going to be against that sort of if i pull, pull the twos up somewhat and the singles just want to put it down flat and push the twos back. Now I think I need to pull the twos up. So I'm going to turn around again and actually I'm turning around in this two. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick up two seed beads and I'm going to come through the cabochon. I'm going to pick up another two seed. Now you can imagine instead of using and I'm going to go into this. Instead of using seed beads, we could use the micro crystals, and they would look even more fantastic. So coming through there, and then we will need what do we need to get to the next one? Would that work? So if we leave those out, so then they're going to have to stay down as well. But then the two is not going to be enough. So I reckon. So two seed beads, I don't think it's going to get us. Will it get us to the next one, maybe? Let's have a look. Pick up two seed beads. Oh, no. We got the other, other pair of it. We got this one here. Let me just pick up two more super jewels and go through there. So we're kind of still growing. Then pick up the two. But then it's gonna. this is going to come up. This is gonna come up. So I think we need something else. I think now we need a crystal in there on the Pico. Because otherwise, we, this is just gonna keep growing and growing. <laughs> and we're gonna end up with a big ball. So just coming back. What have I got to hand here? I can just I'm gonna try this bicone because I got this right in front of me. So I'm just gonna add the bicone in. And see how we're looking and then pick up the two seed beads one two now I'm gonna go through the cabochon another two seed beads and I'm gonna come up through that middle one there pick up another bicone go through what do we think of this and then we still got 
some at the back. If I turn around, we still got the some at the back to hook things into if you wanted to. I mean, it doesn't have to be a bike on. We could use a round, like a three, four millimeter round. The four mil probably too big. So I reckon three mil, you can get away with a three mil round. You can use all sorts. The super just give it like a dolly look. Yeah, absolutely. And David's saying it's squeaking. Yeah, she found the squeaky part. Roxy's got a good taste. Absolutely. Absolutely. She's 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 she is not bothered about Sydney whatsoever. Like she's never been around cats herself where she came from so I don't think she even knows what a cat is Her, unfortunately <laughs> Sydney has had some not so bad but um, has had some run-ins with some dogs before and um, so Sydney is very aware of her um, she hissed at her like she never attacked her or anything she hissed at her a couple of times when, when, when she got a bit too close I haven't let them like sort of together together in, into like very close distance we are working on it we are working on it very close and um, I reckon they're going to need a couple of months to kind of get to used to each other and don't forget she's only a puppy everything is new and she gets excited about a lot of things so I think she needs to calm down with her surrounding a bit more as well but yeah absolutely fine there is no 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 fights or anything in between them which which I was worried about that but um they seems to be good they seems to be good I just hope <laughs> when when Roxy socializes with other dogs, <laughs> other dogs won't teach her <laughs> to chase the cat. <laughs> right, there we go. So we went all the way around with our crystals. I, I really like that. Now I'm going to go back down to the other side and maybe add some crystals in there or maybe add some more seed beads. So I'm going to turn around in this Super Duo again. I'm just coming out of so I'm just going to go through the other hole to get to that row and then let's see I'm going to go to the next I'm going to keep on going in this row until I get to the next one which is kind of like sticking out that one going through this one have to wiggle it a little bit because they're quite close closely together and then we can turn around in this there we go so now what we're going to do we can either add some more sort of oh we could do add one here one here sort of and then then another one in the middle so kind of like create like little arms that we could turn into like an icicle or we could equally just add some seed beads in there so I would probably need to add two maybe three in between and then one or I don't really want to add a crystal because it's going to be right behind this crystal um, we could possibly add another row in of these but then then again we're gonna end in uh, we're gonna end up in the trap they keep adding and adding and adding dimensions to it which is nice but then it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger so I am thinking let's either have a pearl we could do with an eight millimeter pearl in there but then they're going to be kind of similar to the um, Super Joe already. Mary saying it's turning out really lovely, but I, <laughs> I don't know where it's going to be. <laughs> but it's going to look good, I think. In the, it this again needs a little bit more play with it. So I'm just going to finish it off. I'm going to add three seed beads in between. We could we could keep on going, adding rows and rows and rows. Can't get to the next bit. I just turned it around so I can see it. But I think 
size no three is not enough come back we need four so it, it would probably have to be something different added in there because when I will look at it from the top it just looks like a little line so I think we need um, something else but um, definitely needs to work on it. I'm gonna pick up one see the bead in here or not two maybe because it's a bit of a distance in between another two one two and another two but again this could be three millimeter pearls I'm adding in instead of the two seed beads and another four just really working out the right size as you're going around so you could do all sorts of different things let me just turn around and put it down so just kind of add it like a little bit of an edge peeking behind but definitely tweaking the seed beads using something else perhaps using pearls four three or four millimeter pearls instead of the crystals and using the micro crystals instead of the seed beads um would look really good as well there's all sorts of things i think that's already peckering so i need to reduce and i think this one needs to be one that one i'm going to take it back to there and that's instead of two we just need one seed bead there <laughs> what's she doing she just she's waiting around because this time she's i fed her just before the live and then we go out go out and and probably we're gonna have to change it as as the nights are drawing in and, and it's obviously gonna get darker sooner but you go out, she always goes out in the evening, we go out for like a good half an hour. I got her into like the right little routine and then she goes to bed and that's it, she's down for the night. And then she's up like 6am next day, asking for her breakfast. I, I, I'm i sure like once she gets a little bit older, she won't sleep as much as she's sleeping now. But um She's definitely the playfulness in her. I think as now she's getting more comfortable, it's coming through. It's really coming through. And she's like, the kids it was so great with the kids as well. Christopher's hanging. She's, <laughs> it was so funny because he came in to get her and she's like, oh, can I just hang out with the dog? <laughs> just want to hang out with the dog. So they were just hanging out in the lounge together. It was so cute. Right, so I'm picking up four, then two, then one, then two, then four, going all the way around, which kind of giving me the right circumference for this little creation. I would probably, if it was me, maybe I would keep on going and adding more bits to it. I love doing things like this because you start as long as you keep doing the six side, because it's got six sides, we started with six beads. As long as you keep adding the same beads all the way around, you could be doing all sorts of different things. You could just keep growing it and growing it and growing it. So as long as you work out one side, you could keep going and doing it for the other five. You know what, sweetheart? She's saying, <laughs> she probably she's saying it's gone eight o'clock you said to me <laughs> you're gonna finish at eight o'clock but i really want to go around this it won't be in a minute sweetheart it's like she's uh um she's all moving about and then i look at her and then she like freezes and then when i look away she starts moving again i'm gonna yeah she's laid down now i'm gonna have to keep an eye on her probably she needs to go outside right so one two we got last side we're doing last side this is the last and i just need a few more seed beads last little bush one two three four going jumping there two seed beads going through that and another seed bead and then two and then I'm back right to the beginning. I'm going to turn it around. Just going to have a look. How does it look? But definitely, I think the concept works. We just need to work out and add different bits of pieces to it to make it a bit more sort of 
you know, adding adding pearls or crystals or, or dressing it up a little bit. I think that's that's all it needs. But the, the concept works. So once you work out one side, I love that we got like two dimensions to it because of the super jewels allows us to do two that we could even do another layer if you wanted to. We could have added another super jewel in there and have another layer going on, or we could bind the, the back layer to the front layer because of the super jewels. This is the beauty of the two hole beads. I love it. Right, I like the back too, Debbie's saying. Yeah, the back the back looks really nice as well. <laughs> we could just do so, like something plain. Um, sometimes looks really nice as well. That would look lo lovely in green as a wreath for Christmas. Oh yeah, absolutely. I didn't even think about that one. Yeah, definitely. We need to do it in green. So um, we could do green for the super duos we could do red for the yeah we could do and gold green red and gold maybe um or just green and red that would look good as well right okay i'm gonna go and have to take foxy out foxy roxy i keep calling i keep she's got so many nicknames already because i keep calling her or instead of roxy i call her foxy and um Ah, oh, bless her. She's gonna. She, I don't think she's gonna know what to listen to. So tonight we had a little play with this one. We had a little play with that spiral. Definitely worth a try. Um, with the geo beads, I think we need to add something in between to make it really distinctive and just sort of kind of work out the right number of seed beads to go around it. Perhaps going up to size eight um, seed beads and ha and have something different it because here, if I still keep the crystals but I use size eight seed beads instead of the size elevens. It's, it's not going to look as gappy. So that's worth a try as well. Right, everybody, I'm going to have to go and take her out. Um, have a beautiful evening. I will be back next Wednesday on Totally. Um, I haven't looked at the calendar, so I'm not sure what we're doing. But um, I'll be back next Wednesday on Totally. I'm back here next Wednesday night with you at 7 p.m. Everybody have a